Welcome back guys and I just wanted to talk to you about one of the most popular products that we've sort of launched over the past sort of year um, and that is the Jura Slip. It should be in the shops, uh, I think it's the 26th of August it goes into the shop so you'll be able to get your hands on it. But we te we've teased this for quite a long time and uh, the amount of people who have been, I've asked about it, asked me about it, asked the Preston page about it, I just had to do a little video explaining you what I think about it. Um, I've never really used hybrid elastics, I've got to be honest. Um, I've always been a hollow elastic guy. I did use double elastics a long time ago, that was quite nice. But um, to be honest with you, I've always been, I've always used Preston Hollow, 11 and 13, 15 for the special occasions, 17 for the really special occasions, but those elastics, love them. Anyway, so as we were doing the marketing for this, just before lockdown we got this elastic, um, the final finished stuff ready to go. Um, so I put it all in my poll and then obviously COVID happened and we had to delay everything, you know, it just, it's just how things are, unfortunately. Um, but it gave me a chance to put lots in my poll. Um, soon as lockdown lifted, when we were allowed to go pleasure fishing, I was using it all the time, um, doing filming. Everyone I was going out with was using my top kits because it had the elastic in already. Um, and, and, we, and we got around to using it. And I just wanted to tell, talk to you about what I think the advantages are. Um, and I do think there are serious advantages to be had with this stuff. Um, I can't comment on all the grades because I've only used, uh, really, I've used the 11, the 13, the 15, and I have had a, quite a lot of success with the 17 as well. Um, why do I think it's better? Well, it's got this, I, I want to call it progressive stretch. Um, it's got this power. What we did with this, we, we asked them to, the, the uh, guys who manufacture it for us, we asked them to increase the body of it because the samples we got initially, it just stretched into nothingness. And I think that's the problem with hybrid elastics a lot of the time. It stretches and stretches and stretches and you can't get it back into your pole when you need to. Um, and I've had that with hollow as well. Like you get a fish that tears off and then you can see if you lift your pole up, it's like wobbling in the middle because it's like there's no tension at all on the fish. This does not do that. Um, basically you hook one with this and it'll steam off and then it's like it oh i don't like that feels the brakes and then comes back but it's got the stretch to like cushion the fighting fish but it does it just seems to like i don't know it turns them it's, it's weird really weird and um, taking a bit of getting used to actually the two common sizes that i've used are 13 and 15. the 13 has to be the best all-around carp elastic i've ever used you could literally use it for anything you can use it for f1 you can use it for big carp in the edge you can use it for big carp short Des, for example, has been using it all the time at Stafford Moor, catching great big carp. Now he used uh, Jura Hollows, 12 Jura Hollows is his favourite elastic. And when we first got this, he's like, no, can't, I'll never change. He's on this now. So that tells you how good it is. The 15 has been my favourite. It is amazing. What an edge elastic this is. If you're going carp fishing, that is the one to have in your pole, I tell you. Um, the 17, like I say, that only comes out on special occasions. When the fish have really got the party hats on in the edge and you need to get them out quick, nothing beats that. Um, but like I say, it only comes out on super special occasions. The 11, I think, is probably the best F1 elastic I've used. It's um, it's obviously good for a long kit. I've been using it for a long kit, um, but in a short kit as well. I know a lot of the guys, Jordan Holloway, Matty Dawes and, and Des, have been using this in short kits for, for their F1 fishing. They do a lot of that, I don't anymore. Um, and they just love it. What happens, I noticed I was out filming with Jordan Holloway last week, and one thing I noticed with it, it comes out lovely on the strike, um, and then you can ship back dead smooth, but then when you go to play it, you don't even need to touch the puller, and the F1 pops up right in front of you. It's, it's, it's weird how it happens, but it works. Um, so yeah, I haven't had much chance to use the lighter greys, the five, seven, and nine, and I haven't used the 19 yet, but if, if these greys and the 17 are anything to go by, my God, it's good elastic. It really is good. Um, it's really cheap as well. It's 5 99 which for three metres, if you're clever with this, you can get two short kits out of it, even though it's a three metre length. So, in fact, I'll show you, I'll do a video on that, showing you how to actually get two lengths out of, uh, two top short kits out of one length. Because it is, it's a little bit fiddly, but you can do it. Um, but for me, this is, this is it. I've actually got my hold all here, because I'm going to put some more in my pole. Um, I'm just slowly changing all my elastics as they wear over to this stuff because I just think it's I just think it's the nuts to be honest with you. So there you go, that's Jura Slip, that's my thoughts on it. I am a hybrid elastic convert now. I'm gonna put this in all of my pole top kits and I hope you guys give it a go when it hits the shop soon. 
Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below what you think to hybrid elastics. Have you used them? Are you going to try Gero Slip? Hope you do. See you soon.